Now at six, TikTok trespassers running wild at big venues across LA and sharing their illegal escapades on social media. Their latest target, the Intuit Dome. But this time, the TikTokers got more than they expected when their antics caught the attention of local officials. KTLA's Jennifer McGraw is live in Inglewood with details. Jen? Sharon, Micah, good evening. Yeah, some of these influencers will do anything for those likes or those clicks, even if that means trespassing, breaking into a building. But the mayor says that there's going to be increased security so they can't do this again. Climbing up and over fencing, using a ladder to break into the Intuit compound, new home to the Los Angeles Clippers. These teens then break into the stadium, strolling through the halls, then hopping over stairwells and shooting hoops, hoping to get millions of views on TikTok. It's unfortunate they do it as a thrill, but they're putting their lives at risk. Walter Zuniga works on site. If you haven't been trained and you don't, you're not familiar with, especially if it's at nighttime, you're not knowing what's behind you, you can fall into a trench. And apparently it's not the first time. The same account showing teens climbing into Chavez Ravine and walking the field at Dodger Stadium. And the same TikTok stunt account showing juveniles sneaking into SoFi Stadium, gaining millions of views on social, all the while being places they shouldn't be. This, this is private property. It's a multi-billion dollar construction site. And so this is something that's taken very seriously. Mayor James Butt says it won't be tolerated in his city, but this is just the latest viral video of people trespassing into famous construction sites and buildings in Los Angeles. What's worse, the recent videos of taggers and people jumping off the downtown abandoned high rises. While the teens weren't tagging at Intuit, the video does show at one point a kid grabs a fire extinguisher and hoses down the hoop and cord. Of course we are concerned about it and their parents should be concerned and the reality is is that we will be in touch with them and their parents. And because they are juveniles they will not be identified but the mayor does say he does believe he knows who they are and they could be charged with trespassing. We're live in Inglewood, Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News. Jen, thank you.